Ranaganj coal field is the largest coal field region in India located in West Bengal's West Bardhaman, Birbhum, Bakura, Purulia districts and in Jharkhand. The heart of the coal field is intercepted by Damodar in the south and Ajar river in the north. In 1774, the East India Company started the first coal mining in this region. But for about a century, the mining of coal was not regular because of its low demand back then. After the advent of railway, coal extraction became a regular process. Private organizations usually did such mining then. In India, Prince Dwarkanath Tagore was the first Indian to establish coal mining company in 1835. After independence, all non-coking coal mines were nationalized in 1973 and were placed under Coal Mines Authority of India. In 1975, Eastern Coal Fields Limited, a subsidiary of Coal India Limited was formed and took over all the earlier private collieries in Ranigunj coal field. Eastern Coal Field Limited or ECL is spread over 1530 square kilometer area. In Ranigunj, coal excavation happens using both open cast and underground mining. Open cast mining involves the formation of deep troughs on the ground. Those places which do not practice mine closing plans are the ones where over time rainwater, groundwater and the water from nearby water masses gets accumulated in the troughs and become what is known as the pit lake. All over the world there exists innumerable such pit lakes which are formed because of mining. Many of these lakes contain toxic poison which is a threat to adjacent communities and ecosystems. Open cast mining has been practiced in Ranikunj coal field for decades. Since mine closing activity does not happen much in India, Ranikunj too has many pit lakes. West Bengal's government's Department of Higher Education Science and Technology and biotechnology has financially supported the Department of Botany and PG Department of Conservation Biology of Durgapur Government College to do a three-year research from 2014 to 2017 about Pit Lake's abundant water, its various effects on the environment and biodiversity, whether it can be used for domestic and agricultural purposes, possibility of food source and practice of fishing in Ranikunj coal field area. The main objective of our project is to inventorization and characterization of the pit lakes in the entire Ranigans coal field area. Secondly, the, we have to analyze the ecological health status and thirdly, we have to analyze their biological resource that means the resource of macrophytes, then birds, then fishes as well as there is a plenty of water in the pit lakes but they are not in use. Our objective is to supply or supplement the output of the research work for the whether the society can use particularly the water resource for other purposes. Example irrigation, then domestic purposes, then agriculture, fishery, forestry, animal husbandry and other uses. Initially we have categorized or divided the entire region into four parts that is the Ondal, Pandaveshwar, then Ranigaj and Asansil region. And in the first year we have surveyed more or less 40 pit lakes in the whole Ranigunj coal field area. Jeta kina, amader hoy kajer ekdom first part. Prothome amra hoy cholista pitle ke niye tadher characterization korechi. Cholista pitle ke kato ta depth ache, tar kato ta area ache. Tadher locally kiki villages ache. Chamosto tadher demographic features kulo ke amra dekhechi. Tar pori cholista pitle ke modhe amra shatashta pitle ke beche niye chilam. Water analysis se jono karon baki pitle gulo onupo jogi chilo is jol ebang soil collection korar jono. To know the ecological health status, first of all we have analyzed the water quality. 
For the assessment of the water quality of the different field lakes, we have taken 16 parameters to study in pre-monsoon, monsoon and post-moon season. Water we have collected the water in the pit lake for analysis. First of all, we have measured the instrument in the instrument. DO, Conductivity, TDS. We have kept the refrigerator in the In between 72 hours, we have the parameters in the titrimetric method, and we have the spectrophotometric method. Nitrate, nitrogen, phosphate, phosphorus. These are all the uh, spectrophotometric method we measure. And uh, titrimetric method we measure. Kuri, alkalinity, hardness, chloride, BOD. These parameters. These are the parameters we measure. We have seen that most of the most of the pitlecks are pH basic. Meaning acidic. No. For acid mine drainage, these pitlecks are not there. After that, we have studied the plant resources, particularly the macrophyte in the pit lakes, as well as plants which are found or which are associated in the surrounding regions, that means adjacent areas of the pit lakes. Another part is the animal resources. Very interestingly, in some of the wetlands, migratory birds as well as the residential birds are present in different season, particularly the winter season. For the pH level, the BOD level is very good, so we can easily use the irrigation in the irrigation. Paddy, wheat, brinjal, and other plants are फलेक्सेशनेटारंडी Old pit lake is comparatively better than the new ones. Two to three decades old pit lakes naturally turn into wetland ecosystems. Their excellent water quality is responsible for enhancing and enriching aquatic life. A notable observation is that old pit lakes have benefited its surrounding inhabitants in the form of food collection, recreational fishing and domestic uses. ए पीटलेग गुलो ऐतो दिन धोरे शुद्ध मात्रो पुड़े ही चिलो ये जॉल गुलो व्यवहार है शुद्ध मात्रो डोमेस्टिक पार्पसेज जोनो डोमेस्टिक पार्पस बोलते बातिंग अनेक श्मय लाइफस्टॉक बातिंग अज जोनो व्यवहार है ये जॉल गुलो अम्रा पोरिस्ट्रूटो कोडी ताहोले क्वार्टर से सप्लाईयो देवा जेते पड़े किंतु बाकी पिटलेक्स कुलो और वाटर कंडीशनो जा कन रोए चे अमरा मेजर कोडे देखे ची शे वाटर एनालिसिस से पॉर अमरा शे इटा कोत्ते पड़ी। Another important aspect to study the soil quality. For assessment of the soil quality, we have collected the sediment from the different pitlakes and taken into consideration into the lab. Then analyzed by following standard methodology. Soil टाके पोथो में सनड्राइ कोडी सनड्राइ हुए जो आर पॉल शेटा के निया हमरा मोटर पेशले गुड़ो कोडे नी गुड़ो कोडर पॉल शे सोयल टके हमरा स्लीवे कोडे छेके नी सोयले पीएच कंडक्टिविटी अवेलेबल नाइट्रोजन अवेलेबल फास्फेट फास्फोरस एनालिसिस कोडी पेशी भाग प्लांटेड खेते 5.5 थेके 7 पीएच चर मोड थाकले शेटा शुभिल जानो खाए प्लांटेशन है जोनो तो हमरा जनरली सिक्स थे के बस एट एटो को पीएचई पीएचई बेशी वक्त पिटले के मोड थे। ओल्ड पिटले बैंक्स प्रोवाइड अ मेजर फूड सोर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अक्वेटिक प्लांट्स फॉर द इनहैबिटेंट्स एस शोन इन द रिसर्च। दिस अक्वेटिक प्लांट्स आर आल्सो यूज्ड एस फोटो। द डेप्थ Inhabitants prefer pit lakes with low depth and greater magnitude for fishing, food source and domestic use. Deeper pit lakes are used for irrigation, water supply and vehicle cleaning. 
in the second year we have studied a thorough socio economic survey that means the users we have uh, found a structured questionnaire and interview was taken samne gramer rozgar bolte ki ache মানে কিছু লোক সার্ভ করলে আর কি সার্ভিস করে আর কিছু লোক মানে যারা আছে যারা মানে ব্যাংকে কাজ করে মাস্টারি কাজ করে তারপর একশো দিনের কাজ করে যারা এই জলটা নিয়ে কি চাষবাসের কোনো আশেপাশে কাজ টাজ হয় আচ্ছা আপনি মাছ টাচ পাওয়া যায় কিছু এটার মাছ রয়েছে সাধারণ মানুষ আছে তাদের প্রধান জীবিকাই নির্ভর করে আছে ওখানে কয়লা খনির ওপরে তাদের আর অন্য কোন জীবিকা সেরকম ভাবে নেই আমরা এখানে লোকাল সার্ভে করে লোকাল পিপলদের কাছ থেকে সেটা জেনেছি আমরা এই চল্লিশটা পিটলেকে সার্ভেও করেছি তো তাদের কথা মতন এই সমস্ত জলগুলোর থেকে সেরকম কোনো বেনিফিট পায় না তো আমরা যদি এই পিটলেকগুলোকে ইম্প্রুভ করে তাদেরকে কাজে লাগিয়ে জাগাতে পারি তাহলে সেই সমস্ত লোকাল পিপলদের হেল্প হয় যারা কিনা এই পিটলেকগুলো জলে মাছ চাষ করতে পারে এই জলটাকে পার্শ্ববর্তী খেতে কাজে লাগাতে পারে তার জন্য এই জলটার পরিশোধন খুবই প্রয়োজন In the year 2015, that is the second year of research, a demographic survey along with training programs involving local inhabitants where local self-government panchayat and municipal authorities were present was done. Being that Sireksho ke pitlek se ki baat ho ko. Ye parkare dikti bongi, ye unnoi, ehane amadhe unnoi ta ki bishay kore, amadhe se ekta hi hampa kere se paachu jor se lagar hampa. These training programs were held to raise awareness among local people about the usage of pit lakes. It was seen that the stakeholders or users were enthusiastic to make sustainable use of pit lake water. On the same year, a model PC culture was successfully set up. The sole purpose being convincing the locals about the ecological importance of this water in the future and how it will help in enriching the human food resource. It is studied in the survey that multiple uses by the inhabitants happen in most of the pit lakes. Apart from domestic use, bathing, livestock bathing, recreational fishing, irrigation, pisciculture, agriculture, water supply, horticulture and floriculture are also practiced more or less. Supply of drinking water and vehicle washing are seldom practiced. But all these are practiced by stakeholders' personal interests except the drinking water usage. Aesthetic and religious uses are also done. Gunjan Ecological Park is an example of aesthetic use. Here horticulture and floriculture are practiced by using pit lake water. In order to make sustainable use of the abundant water present in the pit lake, for a dry place like Ranaganj, government guidance is required. And in the last year, we did cost-benefit analysis. So, cost-benefit analysis will provide the actual benefit to the local stakeholder. That means there is an enormous opportunity to carry out the research work in the ground level so that the people which are residing in and around the field lakes, they can be benefited. And we have already uh, had a meeting with the videos of the different blocks of the Durgapur and they are very much interested to implement the practical aspect of this project. In some field lakes of Salanpur areas, there is an immense possibility or enormous possibility for carrying out the fishery project. In Ondal areas, there are so many agricultural land at the vicinity of the field lakes and they can utilize this project in a very fascinating way. In other parts of Pandaveshwar, 
there is so many fallow land adjacent to the field lakes and we have suggested for the horticulture for growing up some fruit trees so that the environment will be sustained as well as they will get some economic benefit. Pit lakes are a major water resource and their ecosystem is a source of potential biological resource for the future. They contain rich biodiversity, abundant with fauna and flora species. The pit lakes have caused an enhancement in the growth of natural vegetation, bringing sustainable development for the environment. The mismanagement of wetland and freshwater ecosystem has caused its damage and destruction. Thus, systematic and scientific use of pit lake water will ensure a sustainable aquatic environment in the future. Three years of continuous research, we have found that there is an immense possibility or potentiality of uses of pit lakes if utilized in a judicious manner that will be helpful in a broader aspect. In not only in the Bardhan areas, but it will enhance the research potentiality or the possibility throughout India as well as throughout the globe.